everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with a brand new Let's Play. Here we go, guys. I am going to be playing Ratchet and Clank Going Commando for the Nin Nintendo, for the Sony PlayStation 2 slash 3. So... Gonna actually make sure they're off just for your viewing pleasure. So this is literally the last game before I finish off the future series, as well as go into uh, into the Nexus, all for one stuff like that. So let's start a new game and see what the plot of this game is. Now the future series in this game can be played separately because they have literally nothing, nothing at all to do with each other, other than the fact that some characters are reoccurring in every Ratchet and Clank game. Welcome back to Behind the Hero. Tonight's heroes are the duo who recently restored peace and order to our galaxy, Ratchet and Clank. So, gentlemen, tell us about your latest incredible adventures. Well, as you can imagine, we've been pretty busy. After Drek's defeat, there were parades, press conferences, fancy dress balls. And the wiener roast at Al's. Oh, yeah, that. And then things started to slow down a bit. After that, we, well... There was the grand opening at Groovy Lube. Right. I think that was last week. Six months ago. We're still pretty busy, but in a more, uh, domestic sense. Yesterday, I flushed out my radiator core. I guess no one needs a hero right now. Mr. Littlebottom, I found our man! What the? I am Abercrombie Fizzwidget, founder of the Megacorp Company in the Bogon Galaxy. Bogon? I'm sorry to incapacitate you, but our entire galaxy is in a very precocious situation. I must humbly request your sustenance on a mission of dire urgitude, a mission of superfluous peril, a mission of unequivocal imperitude. Did that make any sense? So, you need me to go on a dangerous mission in another galaxy? Indubitably! A few days ago, this top-secret biological experiment was stolen from our testing laboratory by this duplicitous criminal mastermind, and I need you to get the experiment back. We'll do it. We will. Frank, I have precipitated your recalcitrance and have made special improvisations for you. We are prepared to give you a job as the head accountant for Megacorp, plus a penthouse sweet and lovely Megapolis, and our state-of-the-art robotic masseuse. Deal. As for you, Ratchet, I'll need you on some purgatory shape. While in transit to the Pokemon Galaxy, you will undergo heavy training and conditioning, including martial arts, heavy weaponry, survival skills, stealth, lacrime, ballroom dance, and origami. We've used bipolar vector regurgitation to track the thief's location to a flying base in Sector 7. In film, tribulate the base and retrieve the experiment. Sir, ready for launch. Okay, so a mysterious guy from the Bogon Galaxy apparently needs our help to get back an experiment from some rogue thief. So, we start off on planet Aranos, or Aranos. Depending on how you guys want to look at it. I'm on final approach to coordinates 37 Alpha. Good luck. I'm counting on you. Affirmative. Beginning radio silence. Ooh, that is one big ship above some beautiful mountains. So, funny thing is, we don't have Clank. Now, the controls are literally... Okay. Before we do literally anything, I need to go to... How is that control? How is that... How is that literally controls, man? Okay, there we go. The camera angles were reversed. So, literally everything is the exact same button combination. To that they were. Buttons, hold triangle and select an icon with the left analog stick. I get it. In future tools of destruction, as well as uh, upper arsenal and stuff, to fire, to fire your, your lancer. lancer. Okay. So yeah, lancer is this game's machine gun. Now this machine gun is actually somewhat decent. I do enjoy it. So yeah, this will be a hundred percent let's play. I will be getting all the skill points, all the gold pole, or titanium. No, Platinum. I believe this game is the Platinum Birds. 
I love how they go back to being gold bolts, you know, in the past. Or, like, in the future. It takes about, what, three? No, it takes four. Four shots to kill the enemies. Yeah, okay, the, it takes the same for each of these guys. Now, one of them is more special than the other. These blue boxes give you ammo. This is nanotech to heal you, obviously. Uh, normally they tell you when you break it open, but I guess only if you take damage in this game will they tell you. Also, weapons only upgrade once in this game, so don't expect them to like upgrade to like B5 or anything like they did in like uh, Upper Arsenal or Future Tools of Destruction, Deadlock, you, you name it. None of them. Ooh, we can break these for money. Actually, a superfluous amount of money. Let's just collect some of this. I like how, like, the game itself is HD, but the cutscenes were never, like, you know, rendered into HD. Also, I find it cool that Ratchet actually wears the oxygen helmets on these games, yet in the new games, he literally just wears whatever the hell armor he has on, but without the helmet, so it's like, well, dude, how are you even, like, alive? Shouldn't you have, like, suffocated a long time ago? But apparently not, so whatever. Can I just throw these? No. I will admit though the music is a little loud in my ear, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to oh. Weird, the music is the music is literally a So I guess it's just my uh, TV. Let me turn it down. Try using the gravity bomb here. Hold triangle and select it with the left analog stick. Okay, hang on. Eh, I guess it doesn't really turn down much. Oh yeah, so cause the, cause we have a bunch of enemies here, let's use the gravity bomb. Which is literally just this game's grenade launcher. Nothing special about that. Every game has a machine gun slash grenade launcher. Nothing special. Ooh, there's the experiment. Let's grab it. I see it's time to update my security forces. Whoa, whoa, no, hey, no, no, look, I'm just here to fix the transflexor coil. Nice try. Give my regards to Megacorp. Finish him. <laughs> well, the thief got away with our uh, experiment that we need to get back. Well, let's just blow all you guys to smithereens, I guess. Hey, double trouble. And there we go. Defeating all the enemies will open up that valve to get valve vault door thingy majigger to get back down. Man, it feels so weird not having Clank, but then again, if we were to play Quest for Booty, the sequel to Future Tools of Destruction, then we would know how this feels because that game is literally all without Clank. I mean, literally the entire game is without Clank. Can I break that window? For some security. You bring the cash, we'll bring the thrash. Good. I need your best men to meet me at these coordinates. Oh, at these coordinates? We don't even have any coordinates, but looks like we gotta deal with some thugs in this game as well. And, oh. Hey there, army of dudes. Man, this weapon's almost halfway upgraded. We've barely done anything yet. I don't know. This game is fairly easy, it is fun, but there are going to be some very difficult parts. Like, not soon per se, but definitely late game there are going to be some very difficult areas. And some of the boss fights in this game are a little ridiculous. Or you can just hold L2 to strafe, which is by far the better option. At least in my personal opinion, I prefer to do it. Oh. Just got some of those little blade orbs. Like, see, the blade orbs return in deadlock. Oh, this is where she tells you about the health, apparently. This looks like a, like a little enemy wave gauntlet. Yeah, not very difficult. We already have 5,000 bolts, though. I swear, literally, other than the first game, you get a lot of bolts. Oh, and this must be the exit. What? 
Oh, that was close, Ratchet. He's like, why why did you jump off, dude? Like seriously, why did he jump off? Incredulous. I didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, so soon. There was a slight problem. The thief escaped with the experiment, and I have no idea where he was headed. Not to worry. I just received an omission which may lubricate the matter. Oh, what is it? Any maps for this quadrant of the galaxy? You bet, mister! We got galactic maps, 3D maps, foldouts, cutouts, maps to the stars, and their homes! Sorry about that. Ah, I forgot my wallet. Could you, you know, take care of this? Perimeter defenses deactivated. <laughs> You forgot your change. Evil. I'm on my way. Well, let's go to wherever that is. It even say like coordinates too or anything. So we got the first official planet of the game, Planet Uzla. The ship area is literally just your tutorial zone. For a map, press select, select or R3. R3. If you're wondering what R3 is, it's the anal right analog stick and you can just push it there. So we have a mission to go there and a mission to go there. So for this planet, literally, you just choose to do, you know, whatever mission you want. There's always going to be multiple missions. So, yeah, in this game, you actually have to buy ammo physically. So the Blitz Gun is your game's shotgun, and the Chopper is literally the display gun. I highly recommend you pick this up because it is a bay of a weapon. So let's fight, yeah. Oh, apparently, this game doesn't have anything cool like that. Now, I believe you can jump on the other side of this fence. What you want to do is there is a skill point for killing these pterodactyls. So what you want to do is you want to come out here and aim. You have to kill five of them. Wow, I don't know why people have a hard time with this. This actually seems really easy. And there we go. Skill point. Or maybe it was just four. So yeah, and then like, if you go down to the special section, you can go to the skill points. And uh, so nice rod and stuff like that. Shoot, where, where's the one that we got? We're clearly in... Oh, there it is. Prehistoric Rampage. Shoot four pterodactyls. And... Uh, I don't believe... Oh, wait, there it is. Smash and Grab. This one, I don't believe you can actually get until... You actually get a different upgrade. Like, you know, the gravity boots, magnet boots, whatever one's in this game is what you'll need. Apparently you can lock onto the boxes too, that's pretty cool. I love the music here though, it's very epic for just a beginning level. Then again, Ratchet and Clank has been known to have some pretty damn good music. I think it takes five hits now to kill them. Like the snails? Two, three, four, five. Okay. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's six. A lot tougher than those other enemies, like those robots. Uh, these Nessie-like creatures, they'll transport you across the water. So they are very beneficial little creatures. Uh, well, also, does it tell me how many bolts are here? I don't think it does. So I... Both ways, actually, I believe, lead you to different gadgets. So both ways are mandatory to actually beat the game. So just, just take your time and explore the planet to its full potential. That one is literally just to get back, we don't need it. But we do need these bolts that are found over here. Oh, and I believe this is called the Comet Strike. Where you ground pound with the, your your wrench, and this is... Uh, and this one is called the Meteor Strike? Something like that? Or I might get them reversed. I just don't want to waste as much ammo, you know? Okay, for these little guys, let's just clear them out with a gravity bomb. Since, you know, there's multiple enemies to get. Wow, that completely and utterly missed everyone. Ooh, sweet. Seems fairly simple. You know, you just defeat enemies to get your nanotech up. That hasn't really changed, other than the first game in the series, which I'm not sure if we'll be playing on my channel anytime soon, because I don't really enjoy it. Ah, uh, that's the only game where 
you know, fighting creatures doesn't actually get you nanotech. There are two nanotech upgrades in the entire game, and most of them are very expensive. Okay, so we have to take this one. Is this the one that I want? Ah, this one does lead me somewhere else. Perfect. So let's kill these guys. I do believe there is something... Uh, is there anything here? Ah, I guess it was just some enemies. Though, the enemies are worth some weapon experience and some nanotech experience, so... It's not a bad thing to go there. Plus, I'm pretty sure this one leads us to... Ah, it just brings us back to the beginning. Don't really care about that, then. Uh, yeah, and for those piranha plant ripoffs, all you have to do is literally jump on it and jump off before it eats you. Alright, so this one will bring me over here as well. Okay, cool. I don't believe this is a way you have to go, but this is definitely for some bolts. And as you guys can clearly see, that the second weapon in the game already costs 15,000, and we're only at 1,000, so... We definitely, definitely need to get more bolts. Here, we'll take this one, because that one I'm pretty sure will just lead us back to the beginning. Yeah, they all have a weird habit of going back to the very beginning. I'll probably get to, like, the first gadget or so, and then I'll call it an episode. But, yeah. Okay, let's try out the chopper. The chopper can deflect off of things, and it does take three hits to kill, but it is pretty cool in the sense that, you know, it can ricochet off of surfaces and come back and kill enemies. Oh, okay, this is... Ow! Fra Actually, you know what? Gravity. Oh, yeah, that is definitely a good spot for that. I'll use the Lancer on this guy a little bit more. Perfect. Now, the chopper actually stays pretty pretty decent throughout the game, so you, I don't really think you have to use it a lot here, though it is a good weapon to have. Like, I highly recommend you pick it up. Just those little bugs. I love their sound effects. Oh, yeah, and those spikes really don't hurt you. You'd think they would, but they don't. And you can't long jump or high jump yet because, once again, we don't have Clank. Oh, I actually do have to take this. Okay. Thought this would be, like, the secret area, then, like, one to the right would have been, you know, where we have to go. But no. Literally, this one is, like, a plant obstacle. Oh, yeah, and you will drown in the goop. I don't think you even have recovery time in this. I believe it's insta-kill. You might have a little bit of recovery time, like, once or twice. Like, before you drown, like, you can jump out once or twice. But I believe it's, like, three or four seconds and you drown, so we gotta get out of there pretty quickly. Ah, here's our first sketch. It's gonna be down here. Welcome, welcome. Uh, if everyone could take their seats, we can proceed with today's demonstration. First, I'll need a volunteer. Anyone? Excellent. Your name, sir? Ratchet. Hey! And there you have it! The Megacorp Tractor Beam in action! Let's give it up for our volunteer! Sir, how about taking advantage of our show special? Oh, great. We barely have enough, but let's buy the Tractor Beam for a thousand bolts. Thank you, sir. You won't be disappointed. The Tractor Beam moves small and medium-sized objects which have glowing orange targets like these. Press circle to move those columns so you can scale the cliff. Or, before you scale the cliff. Right? Okay, I'm like, why couldn't I click that? But whatever. So what you want to do is you actually want to bring them over here first. That was a little far. I don't know if I can actually do it, but... Oh, there we go. And here is one of the bolts. There's one other one, but I believe it's on the other pathway. So here we go. First one. And yeah, it's platinum bolts in this game. Okay. It was gold bolts in the original, uh, platinum in this game, and then titanium in the third game. Makes sense, I guess. Why they change them constantly, I, I really don't know, but they just do. I believe we'll eventually end up around our ship. Your health has improved. Yay, I didn't know that already. You literally told me that. But, we finally actually had to use it. No, I'll destroy this. Destroying poles. So, you know, Ratchet just goes around vandalizing everything. You think you'd be arrested. I kind of figured. 
Yeah, anyways, let's buy some ammo, I guess. Anyways, I guess this will do it for this episode. And in the next episode, we'll continue down this pathway to see uh, where it leads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for some more Ratchet & Clank going commando. Peace out.